Hello YouTube, this is Todd Martin and I'm back with a Python tutorial uh, talking about our little chat server that we are making. Um, this is the server source file from the last video to this video. As you can see, a lot has actually changed about this. So, what this little server program is going to do now is I took out a function for this video because as you can see I have changed a lot about it so I wanted to break it up but this one is basically going to receive messages from clients that are connected so we're not really gonna have the ability to reply to those messages yet that'll come in another video but because I changed so much and I threw in threading that I wanted to do this before I added in that function so as you can see we have the sockets I'm not going to touch on threading yet and I created this little function here and you'll see why whenever I talk about the threading portion of this but basically uh, it handles everything from the client co actually connecting onward then we have our host and port we have setting everything up so we have our socket with the rules AF, INET, and SOC stream. Also, to save some text, you can also just leave it blank because AF, INET, and SOC stream are defaults, but I personally keep them in there just to, I don't know, it's, it's just uh, my preference. So then we are going to bind our socket to our host, which is going to be localhost here. and to our port which is going to be 8000 and this listen function right here says that the server can listen to five things at the same time basically it can take in five connections all at the same time and I just had this print printed saying the server is running now I'm gonna actually get to the threading um, if you watch the HTTP and FTP video I already did a little bit of threading here. Let's open that up so that way you can see development blog server.py. Down here I use threading and <coughs> what threading allows us to do is threading allows us to run multiple things at the same time like for instance whenever we run a simple Python program that says hello or basically every program that I've showed you guys already in the Python tutorial series there's basically one thread running so whenever you run any program you always have one thread running and that's considered like the main thread but we can also have different threads going so it's like a program within a program kind of think of it that way as an example with this we have a FTP server an HTTP server and we're gonna thread them so that way they can run at the same time so they're sim so they are simultaneously running and if you want to see how that works you can check out the FTP and HTTP tutorials that I posted it was like the first series that I did so, threading. If you notice, I have this commented out. It's because I attacked it in two different ways. So, to save space and to save typing, you can do this way, which is a simple loop. And since we have where we can listen to five things at the same time, I didn't see a need in having a range between one and a number greater than five. But but you can change this to like 10 it just adds different threads but the problem with kind of working with threads in an instant like this is that you have to clearly define how many threads can be running because eventually you'll run to a max amount of threads that you can run on your computer so if I just did like a uh, while true it wouldn't run 
so we have to set a definite max. So use 4i in range 5. In range just simply states the range between one number to another. Um, I could also do 1 to 5, but that's more... Whenever I do a video series on port scanning, I'll talk about you know having two numbers in that range. But for this case, we just need one number. And so every single time this runs, it's going to run this thread. And this is why I created this function up here. It's because it's going to say, okay, let's start a thread, and its target is going to be client handler. So this thread is going to run this block of data. And then we are going to start that thread. So whenever one client connects, it says, okay, we have one thread. And then another thread automatically opens, and it sits in this state. It sits because, if you notice, Python. Usually I don't use the Python shell. From socket import asterisk s equals socket s. Uh, I should probably just bind it. And if we do s dot listen one s dot accept, it's going to sit in that state of accept until a connection comes in, and then it will accept the connection, and then it will move on. So as soon as something connects here, then it will execute the rest of this code. Now, another really important thing about this uh, function up here, probably the most important thing in this function are these two lines right here, if not data break. So I found out whenever I was writing this, and it took me a little while to write it because having to play with threads and everything, I had to exactly figure out how I wanted it to be set up. But without this line of code, if we have two clients connected, I noticed that whenever one of the clients disconnected, like the server just got flooded with empty messages. And that's because it didn't it didn't see that the client disconnected. So it just kept on getting nothing as a response and you could see it. Let me show that as an example. Python desktop chat.py. to connect two clients to this at the same time. This is probably going to be a little bit of a long video, but we got a lot to talk about. Python from socket import I've already typed this like a thousand times tonight. There you go. So as you can see also it listens to both. So now let's close one of these out. Huh, it's not doing it. 
It was doing it earlier. I don't know if maybe whenever I was doing something with the threading, it changed it. But just to be on the safe side, keep this. Oh, I know what it is. My bad. It's this right here. If you notice, I had this while loop. I completely just went over my head. This while loop. So what it is, is... Uh, I just come to think about it, we might we might not need these two, but this while loop basically uh, as long as we have one, which is whenever the client is connected, it will run fine. But if it's zero, then it automatically sees that it keeps on getting this as a message. So let's comment that out. Let's comment this out too, so that way you guys can see what was going on. Python desktop slash chat dot pi. Uh oh, messed up on something. Alright, this has ultimately been kicking my butt recently. Python from socket import Now let's try opening up two. Cause I'm gonna be kind of ticked if it's not working like it was working earlier. The computer has been hating on me today. might have been because I had like several clients connected I was doing that because there was one time whenever I had quite a few clients well for some reason it's not doing it now I honestly don't know why but I was doing some reading and this needs to be in here just to prevent that from happening I don't know if maybe there was like a circumstance I was running it under. But just be better safe than sorry. Alright, so what else was I going to talk about? Alright, so we have our client handler, which I had to create a function so that way we can call something up. I uh, talked about how we created new threads. One thing I should also talk about, this is not exactly a practical way, like if you were gonna make a business out of creating chat servers like IRC or you know like uh, Skype, this would not actually be practical for that kind of thing and the reason being is because one, a computer can only have so many threads running, but two, threads you in a program you cannot really close a thread so once you open a thread as long as the program's running that thread is always running too so it does eat up a little bit of the CPU and some RAM but for something like this this is taking basically no system resources but if we were using something like Skype oh my god that server would be so bogged down it would just be insane 
unless, unless I'm missing something, I'll go back and read the uh, threading and see if that maybe there was something I missed. And if so, I'll bring that into one of the videos. But this is the server that we are that we've got hooked up now. All it does is it receives messages. Um, the next thing to do is to take the message it receives from our client and disperse it to all the clients. That's the goal for the next video. And I think that's about it. If anything in this video confused you, please email me. I'll drop my email down into the video description. And I think that's about it. See you in the next video.